What's up guys? So had my low rider, rider ST for about a month and a half, two months now. Um, only done a couple mods. I've done the grips. I've done the DMR, uh, death metal racing, 10 inch risers, you know, extended the cable and stuff, put a quad lock on it. Not much. I did order a seat. It hasn't come yet. So not much is done to the bike. This bike is in California, right? So I lane split daily going to work and it's dangerous. Nobody can hear me. So I have the money to get a new pipe if need be, right? I want to get a two in a one, so wiki speed, and then I'll tune it and do all that stuff to it. So that's in the works. But I mean, I'd rather spend money on other components. In the meantime, I'd rather get a windshield. I'd rather probably change out the front turn signals. This, this, and that, whatever, right? I'd just rather have other things I would rather do than buy an exhaust at this point, right? I mean, to each their own, right? So there's tons of forums online talking about cutting the baffles out of a lowrider s lowrider st you know not really actually there's very little about the lowrider s lowrider st but people say cutting out the baffles hey it's a it's a budget friendly way to get your exhaust to sound better um some people say you're gonna lose so much torque and this and this and that just go with the pipe whatever so like i said um i don't feel like doing the pipe right now that being said i do have the money for the pipe if this goes terrible I lose a bunch of power the bike runs like crap hey i'll just buy the pipe i have another bike so uh i can just ride that in the meantime but so what i'm gonna do um just give you guys give you guys a real deal answer hey what happens when you cut the baffles out of a lowrider s or lowrider st i believe even the street bob has this exact exhaust maybe all the new uh soft tails i don't know but there's a pinch weld right here i'm literally gonna take a dremel cut it out on both of them it might sound like crap. It might sound, I don't think it's going to sound any, any worse than it does now. Um, so yeah, we're just going to do it, see what happens. And I'm going to ride it for a while. Hey, if it turns out decent, you know, I'll just wait in the meantime, rock it like that for a few months, get them, get my other parts. And then I'll get an exhaust. I'll get a tuner. I'll get, uh, losing train of thought, but whatever, I'll do it all if I have to, but we're just going to try it see what happens. Worst case scenario, I have another bike I can ride. So let's just get to the video and uh, let's see what happens. I'm going to give you a short sound clip right now. So here's the setup. Got some uh, Frozen 2 eye protection, Dremel, and a cutting wheel. Gonna cut right there, right below the pinch weld and uh, hope for the best. All right, let's do it. All right, guys, so I grind out the outside a little bit. I got it loose. Now I'm just trying to get it out and it's kind of stuck. So I just want to update you, but yeah, I'm gonna have to yank on this thing to get it out. All right, guys, after wrestling, with this pipe to get it out here it is i bent the back to crap uh i thought that was the issue it wasn't but it was just kind of stuck in there but now i yanked it out of there here's the baffle and it was surrounded by this glass pack so you can't even see through the baffle at all um some daylight in there it's bent in there just tons of sound suppression uh, we'll see if I run into the issue of back pressure. I don't know. The Milwaukee 8's dude is pretty beefy. So we'll see. But I have a whole nother one to go. So not fun, but let's get it done. I did want to show you guys too that if you can see back there, I believe that's part of the catalytic converter um, or the cats or whatever. I think. Don't quote me on it, but I think so. There's definitely a lot of obstruction still in the pipe. So actually when I said that comment about I'm not sure about back pressure, I think we'll be okay. But time to knock out the second one. All right, so the second one, kind of the same deal. I gotta pull out this stuff and then eventually it'll come out. All right, give me a sec once again. All right, got both baffles out and the heat packing or glass pack. And now you can see in both of them all right let's start it up see how it sounds Whew, a little nervous all right so first start up and it's cold so sorry neighbors i imagine this is going to be really really loud let's see
So uh, you saw what it sounds like, sounds real good. I'm just gonna ride it around for a few days before I finish the video and I'm gonna tell you guys like how much it changed on the performance side. And then, uh, yeah, we'll come back. All right, guys, we came down to the beach to film the last part of the video, the results of cutting the baffles out of the Lowrider ST. And I have to say, I think it's 100% worth it. So as far as performance, I didn't notice any difference in like low end or high end torque. I mean, I'm sure, you know, on the seat and on the on the seat, you don't feel nothing. You don't feel a difference in the seat. On the dyno, I'm sure you would tell a difference. But I didn't notice any significant, if any, uh, I'm sure some, but I didn't, I didn't notice any notable change in any sort of power um, by cutting out the baffles. I personally cannot feel it at all. So I had 1,600 miles on it when we started this project. Now it's about 2,000 miles on the bike. So... I think 400 miles is, you know, a pretty good amount of miles to, you know, really give it a solid, a solid test. It's so about, you know, about two fill ups to get a solid test and see how it changed. So the only thing I think people would complain about doing this is the sound of it is a little raspy. It can be more refined, but really, I think it sounds great. You're definitely going to get heard more. It's definitely louder. It does sound mean. It makes, you know, makes the M8 sound how the M8 should. And overall, I think it's it's honestly a it's it's a plus. It's a positive, and I think if you're on the fence about it, and you're worried about all the power and stuff, don't worry about that. I say just do it. Just do it. In the meantime, you know while you're saving up for a pipe or anything. Now there is a company, Thunder Torque Inserts, where you could put these essentially baffles, I guess you would call them, in the exhaust, which I may or may not get later on. Um, and that's supposed to make the sound, the sound a little more refined. It's supposed to make the, uh, the performance a little bit better if you really wanted to. But honestly, it's fine just like this. So if you're on the fence, do it. Thumbs up. Sounds great. And uh, yeah, like, let me know what you think in the comments. And uh, yeah, thanks.